Tables in Excel. Excel has this option to create tables from standard ranges. Tables help us manage related data in a better fashion. Uh, they give us access to a named header row. They'll also help us uh, construct formulas using structured references, meaning which you can use column names in your formulas. And uh, you can create calculated columns easily. We have two sets of related data here. One is uh, stock information and one is store information. We have a list of stores in different cities. Uh, have some properties here. And then we have the stock information where we have uh, the store ID, the product ID, uh, the product price, and the stock information. We'll see how to create tables from this. So to create a table, you select a range, and then you press Control T. It says where is the data for your table. This is the range. So my table has headers. So the first uh, row would be considered as the header for the table. We'll say OK. Now we have a table here. Interesting. We'll convert this to another table as well. Control T. Okay. Now, if you look at it, when you click on a table, you get a table design uh, tab at the top. So, in this tab, you will be able to edit the properties of the table. You can see there is a table name. This table is called table three. You can change this to uh, inventory. And you can change this to stores. Now we have two tables, inventory and stores. Now let's see how to add a column here. We can simply uh, drag this and extend a column here. We're going to call this column the value. This is going to be the stock value. Let's see how to calculate this. Uh, we have the stock and the product price here. So stock into product price should give us the value. So you can say equal to into. Now we should notice when I move the cursor here, it's showing this as at stock. So which means the stock column into the product price column so this is a calculated column now so this is what we call a calculated column and you can look at how uh, it is referenced each uh, value is referenced based on the column name the stock and the product price now in addition to this you can do a lot of other things on a table here so uh, you can include a total row you can see the total row here now you can format the total row uh, if you want average you want the count count numbers max min standard deviation any of the other functions as well so you can look at the average for the total so here you have banded rows banded rows are nothing but uh, each uh, row is a different color we'll remove this see that then you have a header row you can remove this the header is gone it's there so you can have the first column highlighted the last column highlighted banded columns each column uh, different and you can have a filter button at the top you can remove the filter button there are a lot of formatting options possible yeah. so you can also change the colors here we can have different styles of tables you can see so yeah, tables will help you uh, present your data in a better fashion and also as you go ahead and gain more excel skills you'll be able to connect two tables together and maybe build uh, dashboards where you can uh, filter data across tables using slices. So we'll see all of that in future tutorials.